Welcome to Career Bits, the podcast of the University Career Center at UNC Charlotte. I'm Jesse, and on this episode, we are talking about the My 49er Network, the brand new interactive platform to help 49ers connect socially and professionally, recently launched by the UNC Charlotte Alumni Association in partnership with the University Career Center. Here to discuss that today is Sally Sistar, Executive Director of Alumni Relations. Welcome, Sally, and thank you so much for joining us. Thanks, Jesse. Thanks for inviting me. I'm excited for the conversation. Absolutely. So, Sally, why don't you get started today by giving us a little background about this new initiative and talk to us about the Alumni Association's goals for the My 49er Network platform. So, Jesse, you know, we have 147,000 alumni that are around the world, right? Um, and plus, we have 30,000 students. And so, we essentially really needed a platform in which we could bring together alumni, regardless of where they live, regardless of where they work, um, that can help each other and can help our students. So, we've been looking at this platform for some time. Um, it's it has a lot of options for job postings. Um, our, it, our alumni can serve in a mentor role. They can um, serve each other or they can serve students. You know, they have a lot of control over what, how they help. Um, and again, whether they're looking to help someone or they're looking for their own help. Um, we can share events through this platform. So ultimately for us, we really were looking for a solution that would um, elevate the connections that our alumni and our students can have together. Wow, that sounds fantastic. And it sounds like this platform is really versatile in regards to all of the different opportunities for both alumni and students, which is fantastic. Um, so I would love to hear about some more details about those key features that you mentioned within the My 49er Network platform. Yeah, so as an example for you, um, you know, we also have the option to have groups. So that way you can be a part of a platform and you can communicate with anyone that has activated their profile on there. And then you can drill down into, it could be your college, it could be your department, it might be a group that you participated in. So we have the um, ability to have lots of groups, affinity groups, et cetera, that folks would find themselves um, gravitating towards. A really good example that we like to talk about is we have an alum who is a lawyer out of um, Florida, and he created a Niners a lawyer group, right? So not something that we had gone into thinking about it, but he saw the need for creating this subgroup so that any grad who is a lawyer could connect in there. And it's, his purpose was it's a way to get to know each other and then share business, right? Or share referrals um, because he, his work takes him in a variety of states. Mm -hmm. So that's one of the functions that um, I think will be very beneficial for graduates. Again, they can connect with people through interest or um, affinities in, in you know, any way that they would like. Um, again, you also have the option, so when you activate your profile, you get to determine whether how you're willing to help others and again, if you're willing to, if you need help, right? So particularly we look at that from the students or um, even our young recent graduates who might be particularly looking for some assistance in this COVID environment right now with networking opportunities, job opportunities, um, internships. So it really allows us to be um, a go-to resource for all of our um, alumni and students, if they want to take advantage of it, to be able to gain assistance themselves or seek um, or, or offer help to others. So, and then the other piece of this that I really like is how we're connecting with the Career Center and the job postings that you all put out on a regular basis. And so that's a feed that comes into my 49er network. So there are, I believe, over 600 jobs that are listed there now. Um, and our 
alums have the ability to post directly within the platform as well. So it's, again, I think a really valuable resource, um, particularly in various stages with employment um, or, you know, seeking some assistance maybe to make a, a job change. Wow, that's fantastic. And I feel like what's really unique about this platform compared to potentially some other professional platforms out there is that this is so specific to the UNC Charlotte community. So that's, that's really exciting. Sally, in addition to the My 49er network, what are some other things that alumni are doing right now to give back to the university? Well, Jesse, I would say one um, particular area, obviously, is just supporting our students, right? I mean, we have seen such a need since um, the pandemic started and our students were disrupted, being sent home. Um, and so just, I would tell you, the financial support from our alums has been really significant. Um, helping out with the Student Emergency Relief Fund, the Jamil Niner Student Pantry, um, are two areas where we really have seen a tremendous response from graduates wanting to help. Um, the other piece I would say is, you know, our graduates are very interested in connecting with students, um, whether that's through meetups or programs that you're doing in the Career Center, um, offering in the virtual setting, right? They're very eager and interested in doing that. So um, I think you know, that's always one of the top um, pieces or elements of conversation with alum is, you know, how can I help students? I, I mean, there's a real strong desire to give back um, to a place that's meant a whole lot to them. Definitely. And that's what we in the Career Center tell our students all the time. You know, alumni love helping you and they've been in your shoes before and they want to be able to, you know, guide you through this process, the professional development process, especially. So we encourage students all the time to, to connect with alum and, you know, especially attend those meetups and other programming events that they might participate in with the Career Center specifically. What are some other opportunities out there for students to make those connections with alumni through the Alumni Association? Well, we have a Student Alumni Association itself, right? Um, and all students are eligible to participate at no charge. Um, our regular Alumni Association does not have any fees associated with it as well. Um, and so, you know, obviously in the COVID world, it's a little bit different right now as to what we are able to facilitate. Um, but we have been offering through our Young Alumni Chapter and the Student Alumni Association some virtual um, offerings where one was, um, you know, as you're thinking about graduation and you think about housing, um, real estate, investing, you know, sort of the, the real life skills that you may or may not get in the classroom, right? Um, we also are offering, um, have been offering sessions called Welcome to the City. So we know that our students and our recent graduates are certainly, you know, probably looking at jobs that may not be in their hometown, right? And so we want to be able to offer alumni um, with experience and expertise in those areas. So as an example for you, we've had one um, already for Los Angeles. Um, we've, or I did one for Boston and we're going to put that out actually as a virtual offering, um, a, a recorded virtual offering. We've got a couple coming up for New York City and DC. So again, just looking at where we have really strong um, cohorts of alumni living and offering those opportunities for students, again, and new graduates who might be interested in, in that area to learn a little bit more about what it's like to live and work there. That's such a great idea because to your point, you not, might not necessarily go back home. You might not stay in Charlotte once you're graduating. So why not connect with people who, again, have experienced the UNC Charlotte community, understand what you went through, but are in some of those, you know, potential cities or areas where students and young alum might be, you know, reaching. That's, that's exciting. So real quick, Sally, how can students and younger alum or any alumnus find out about those events? 
So um, you can find that on 49eralumni.uncc.edu. Um, and they're also being advertised, of course, in the My 49er Network platform. So if folks sign up, activate their accounts, which you can easily do with your LinkedIn profile or your Facebook profile um, on the, the My 49er Network platform, then th those things will be advertised there as well. Sally, why is it so important for students to get involved now and maintain their involvement as an alumnus? Jesse, that is such a great question. Um, you know, what we're looking for with all of our alumni is to be advocates for the university, um, ambassadors for um, UNC Charlotte and the Alumni Association, as well as investors. And so, you know, ultimately, this is a relationship that lasts for life. Um, we really would love for our students, you know, your students for a short amount of time, um, and but then your alumni for life. So really, um, you know, there there's so many opportunities to continue that relationship in a meaningful way, and so we we're very um, focused on making sure that we're working with students. It's you know we feel like it's just understanding what's the expectation. Um, when you graduate and it's also you know it's it's a two-way street so it's certainly we're looking at what are our offerings back because it is again a relationship that we hope will be an active one for life so what are those social academic kind of lifelong learning you know service what are all the opportunities that we can offer um, to keep that connection going and keep it strong excellent thank you that's fantastic advice well, Sally, this has been really insightful and we are so appreciative of your time this morning. Thank you for joining us today. Yeah, thanks for having me. Appreciate it. Have a good one. You too. Also joining us today is Anna Salas. Anna, a proud two-time graduate of UNC Charlotte, is a current member of the Alumni Board of Directors and also serves as the chair of the Campus Engagement Committee. Anna, thank you so much for joining us today. Thanks for having me, Jesse. So happy to be here with you. Absolutely. So, Anna, why don't you get started by telling us a little bit more about yourself, give us some background, and then also how you got involved with the Alumni Association. Definitely. So, my name is Anna Salas. Um, I went to UNC Charlotte. I got my Bachelor's of Psychology um, in 2010 and then my Master's in Counseling in 2014. Um, during my Master's, I actually started working as a graduate assistant at the University Career Center. Um, so it was just, I think it was just, it was meant to be. Um, it was the first assistantship I applied for. Um, you know, I got an interview and I just immediately felt a connection with um, supporting students in their career profession career and professional development and honestly it helped me in mine as well so it was really a win-win um so after graduating jesse i started working at the career center that was my first job out of college um i was uh, the assistant director for liberal arts humanities social sciences um so working with students within the college of liberal arts and sciences helping them with everything from you know resume reviews to interview prep um to salary negotiation um deciding on a major all that good stuff and then it was there for about two and a half years absolutely loved it um but always had this interest in recruiting so decided to kind of dip my toe into that um and i've been actually in recruiting now for the past four years um i've recruited primarily in the engineering field or kind of industry but now um, i'm working for amazon web services and i'm a little more focused on both tech and non-tech careers um so really through this you know time I've, I've been in charlotte most of my life i've stayed in charlotte after graduating and i really wanted to get reinvolved with the university um after graduating and then also after you know getting into recruiting and i wasn't on campus working anymore and i missed it so um <laughs> yes missed you guys I had so much fun with the career center can't say enough good things i encourage all students and alums um to definitely utilize the services and programs because they are just absolutely top notch but so got interested in becoming a part of the alumni board of directors wasn't sure if i was quite cut out for it, to be honest. It was like, do I have enough on my resume? You know, am I special enough to be on 
this for, but I realized at the end of the day, they're not looking for anything crazy. Um, it's really, you know, a commitment to the university and desire to serve the university. So Jesse, I joined in the board, I guess it was about, gosh, time flies two years ago now and have been really enjoying it ever since. That's awesome, Anna. I love, I love the connection too that you make from, you know, your time in Charlotte, the fact that you've progressed through, you know, multiple degrees at UNC Charlotte, you worked at UNCC where we originally met and then yes. just kind of missed having that, that connection to campus and to students. So that's so fantastic. And I'm personally so happy that you are serving on the board and able to continue those connections um, with faculty, staff and students. So well, thank you. Anna, I'd love to hear a little bit more about the the board of directors in general and um, more about the process for getting involved. So if we have any alumni listening, what does that look like? Great question. Um, so the UNC Charlotte Alumni Board of Directors, um, they accept, not, accept nominations and applications for new members with three year terms that begin July 1st. Um, so members can either be nominated by an existing board member or appointed by an individual graduate or professional school. They can also just submit themselves um, via the online application. That's what I did. I didn't have anyone kind of um, recommend me, but I said, hey, I'm, I'm interested in being involved. Um, so we have 30, around 30 typically board members. Um, we meet with the Alumni Association on a quarterly basis and we really try to focus on how we can support students, staff, and faculty and the university at large. Um, we really, like I said, at the end of the day, we're seeking bright, creative, diverse, dedicated, and enthusiastic alumni who really want to support the university. So how you support the university is up to you. I'll go into this later. We have a variety of subcommittees focused on volunteer service, fundraising, um, leadership, um, external relations, but th there's really a lot of different ways you can support the university. Um, Jesse, alumni can submit applications at any time, but they're typically considered in the spring for new members to join July 1st. So that's kind of what it looks like. And then the nomination committee will review applications. Um, they're looking specifically for prior involvement and philanthropic support. Um, you also write just some quick essay answers and then they're just looking, you know, do you have the ability to contribute to UNC Charlotte on a, you know, I think we try to meet like on a quarterly basis as a whole group. Awesome. Thank you so much for that overview. Cause I feel like we've heard of the alumni board of directors, but kind of that breakdown of all the different options and opportunities to get involved is is really helpful. So, Great. Anna, you are in your second year of leading the campus engagement committee as part of the alumni board of directors, um, which it's hard to believe how fast time has gone. Uh, but talk to us more about the campus engagement committee and some of the initiatives that you're working on. Definitely. So I think at the end of the day, Jesse, kind of our overall committee's goal is to advise and assist in facilitating opportunities for alumni to aid in the career and professional development of students. But we're also wanting to educate students on the role of the Alumni Association and the importance and responsibilities of being active alumni. Um, I will be honest, when I graduated and even really working at, uh, at UNC Charlotte, when I first um, was out of grad school, I didn't know much about the Alumni Association. Um, I just, it, I wasn't in tune to it, but now that I see, you know, all of the opportunities we have for students to engage with alumni, um, as well as for alumni to support alumni and support the university, it's been really cool. Um, so the Campus Engagement Committee, first of all, let me say thank you to you, Jesse. Um, for those of you that don't know on the call, Jesse is our um, campus liaison and is really my partner in crime on the Campus Engagement Committee. <laughs> Like a partner in crime, yes. So, Jesse, please feel free to jump in at any time because you are, we are on the same page here. You have done so much to support us and, and we really appreciate it. Oh, thank you. You're sweet. True. Um, but essentially, so we're a board of around 14 folks. Um, we try to meet on a monthly basis. Um, we've been meeting via Zoom just in the current times, but it's been working great. Um, and we're really there to encourage alumni's involvement in students' career and professional development. So um, do you want me to go into, Jesse, some of the ways we do that, or you tell me what would be helpful? Yeah, that would be awesome. I feel like even especially this year, since we're in such a, a, a funky time of life right now with COVID and social distancing and 
virtual stuff. So what all do you have on the docket um, at this point for this upcoming ac academic year, those kinds of goals? Yeah, definitely. So I think some of the things we want to do, I mean, pretty much everything virtual, right? But the great thing about today's world is that it's pretty easily facilitated. Um, so one thing that I think, you know, we've had our, our campus engagement committee last year, Jesse participate in, I think they enjoyed it. I think students enjoyed it, our career meetups. Um, so these are just quick 30, 45 minute small group discussions on a topic. Um, it can be, you know, how to start your career in nonprofits or how to start your own business or resumes for accounting. It could also be more niche on career development basics, such as utilizing LinkedIn and salary negotiation. So if alumni feel like they have a particular area that they would, they feel, you know, semi-expert in or even just have some um, advice and suggestions to offer, they can sign up and students can attend those and alumni would lead that session. Um, but it, it, it can be pretty informal, so it doesn't have to be something stressful where an alum has to prepare a presentation or anything like that. Um, I'd say another thing, um, Jesse, that alums can participate in are our virtual career treks. Um, so I know you hosted your la your first one, was it, gosh, two weeks ago? Oh, gosh. Can you keep track of time? <laughs> what, what, what day is it now? I don't know. <laughs> Yeah, we actually had our first two of five scheduled um, this past week. So we have a couple, three more coming up in the next um, month or so um, in a virtual manner. But yes, thank you for bringing that up for sure. Yeah, so that's something else. If um, alumni have, let's say they work at a large employer that's wanting to um, get in front of students or maybe just wants to um, let students know about the career opportunities, the culture that they have, that's something that alumni can definitely actively get involved in. It can be virtual. Um, you might have like a panel of employees from your company that speak to different job functions. Um, there might be even an opportunity for students to break out into small sessions with different employees and talk about particular areas or, um, you know, culture of the company, whatever it might be. So I think that's pretty cool. Um, and then Jesse, I think the big thing, which I think you were talking with Sally about earlier is the My 49er network. Yes. So that is this really cool interactive platform for um, alumni to help connect them socially, professionally with other alumni essentially. And it sounds like we're gonna be rolling that out to students in the spring. Is that correct, Jesse? Yeah, that's, that's what it's looking like. So I'm so glad you brought that up, Anna. Yeah, we just had an awesome conversation with Sally about that. So those are all, amazing ways for alum to get involved. I think one one key thing to keep in mind is that you don't have to be a member of the alumni board of directors or something along yes. those lines to participate in any of the activities that Anna, you you so thoughtfully mentioned. Yeah. And so um, for the, those alum who might be listening, if you are interested in giving back to the, to the campus, you want to share kind of your professional knowledge, expertise, um, please feel free to reach out, connect with me. I'm technically the liaison for alumni um, within the Career Center, and we'd love to get you set up, have you know, have you speak on a specific topic for the meetup program, or again, give us a quote unquote behind the scenes virtual tour and conversation with the virtual career track. But yeah, honest, that sounds like a lot. And to your point, Anna, because we are in this virtual world right now, it, it doesn't mean that doors have been closed necessarily for that involvement and for that engagement. In fact, it almost might have made things a little bit easier, even though I mean we're all a little bit sick of, of Zoom meetings as we sit here on a Zoom meeting. <laughs> <laughs> this but, is a fun one. I like this one. <laughs> yeah, I, I agree. This this one is, is just fine in my book, for sure. <laughs> oh, and Jesse, I did also want to mention, thank you for for saying that yes, alumni that want to get involved absolutely don't have to be a part of the alumni board of directors. If you are great, if you're not totally fine, we'd still love for you to get involved with the Career Center. I did also want to mention, you know, we have sub, um, I don't want to say subcommittees, but there, there's affinity groups within the Alumni Association as well. So we have a Black alumni chapter for folks that are African American that want our alumni that want to get involved with that, they do a lot of really great community service, social, um, spirit events. We also have a young alumni chapter for folks, I think, that are five years or less um, since they've graduated. Um, both of those boards, I think, have applications that you can find online. And then we also have affinity groups related to, for example, Bank of America alumni or School of Nursing alumni. Um, we have, I think, a new Latino alumni chapter. 
Um, we have groups associated with different cities. So let's say you're an alum living in DC or Charleston or Atlanta, and you want to connect with folks, we have those available. So I think if you just go to our the alumni association page, um, you can find out about so many opportunities to engage based upon your interests and passions. I did just want to mention that. I'm so glad you did that. Thank you. Yeah, and that's, that's like kind of the nice thing too, is that even beyond, you know, COVID-19 before and after, um, yeah, there are opportunities to get involved, even if you're not in the general Charlotte vicinity anymore. I'm so glad you mentioned that, Anna. So yeah. very cool. Thank you. You're welcome. So moving on a little bit, uh, you know, career center staff, and you experienced this having worked in the career center several years ago, we're constantly encouraging students to tap into their alumni network for professional advice. Yeah. Why is this important, especially from your perspective as an alumnus? And how yeah. students make connections with their fellow 49ers? Great, great question, Jesse. So I think at the end of the day, you know, I can speak from being an alumni as well as being a recruiter. Um, I think that the importance of connections, I, I can't even say it enough um, it, because I think at the end of the day, there's some studies that have found it's not the connections you know the most necessarily, such as like your close friends and families, but sometimes it's folks that maybe you have met one or two times at a networking event or that you connected with on LinkedIn and that are willing to recommend you. Um, to be very transparent, you know, the job market is there's a lot of folks applying right now and it's it's unfortunate, but I think with COVID, um, you know, there's a lot of folks looking for jobs and so it is competitive. And, you know, ways you can stand out, of course, are catering your resume, ensuring that you go by the Career Center to get that critiqued, whether you're an alum or a current student, that's a service available. Um, you know, practicing with mock interviews, having a strong LinkedIn presence. So there's so much there. Um, but I think one way to really stand out to employers and even just to find out, hey, is this the type of company I want to work for? Or is this a job that might be of interest to me? One of the best ways to do that is through connecting with alumni. Um, we have such a large alumni network, Jesse, I'm forgetting exactly, but I want to say we have like 136,000 alumni um, across the country. And I think like around 40,000 are here in the Charlotte area. So, you know, for myself in my career, when I've been looking at potential employers and maybe I haven't known anyone or I haven't had a connection, um, I've honestly sometimes just searched on LinkedIn, seen, you know, hey, are there any alums working at this employer? And I've had pretty good success in reaching out to folks and just having, it might be a 15, 20 minute phone conversation, but finding out more about that culture or doing an informational interview to see what their day-to-day -day looks like, mm -hmm. um, right? So I think it's a really good way to network um, to potentially have kind of like an in into a company um, to learn more about a particular career path or in culture um, or industry. So I, I think, you know, we sometimes forget to utilize our network. I know when I was younger, I didn't think of it as much, but the older I get, the more I see how valuable it is. So, so true. And I feel like oftentimes, you know, we hear about LinkedIn and you have a profile and you make these connections, but those connections aren't, aren't lost necessarily, but you're not actively using them as, to the best of your abilities or to you know the potential you could. To your point, you have this huge, what you said, you know, 136,000 plus and continuously growing yeah. you know, network of alum. And yeah, I think LinkedIn is such a fantastic resource to really tap into that. Um, and to your point, Anna, it's not like you're reaching out and asking for a job. You're reaching out to say, hey, I see you also went to UNC Charlotte and you're in a really cool role or you work at this really awesome employer that I'm also interested in. Do you have a, you know, a few minutes to chat with me about your experience? I exactly to what your point was, you know, have an informational interview. Those little conversations, I feel like go such a long way in this whole process. They really do. Mm -hmm. And I will emphasize, thank you for saying that, Jesse. Like, I don't encourage, um, you know, I, I wouldn't say the best way to go about it is to initially reach out and say, hey, can you get me a job or can you push my resume forward, right? Because essentially that person, they don't they don't know you. They, I'm sure they love that you're an alum. And so that's definitely cool. But 
I, I highly encourage students and alumni, you know, first, just as you were saying, establish that relationship, get to know that person. And you might not, you know, you might find out, hey, this isn't quite the fit for me, but you, you met a really great person that you can keep in your professional network, or maybe you just learned some more information about the industry or the company. Um, so LinkedIn is definitely a great way to do that. Um, I think also, you know, my 49er network. So it's going to have a feature um, where alumni and students can come together and the alumni will serve as the mentees, um, I'm sorry, mentors, and the students will serve as the mentees. This can even be alumni to alumni. So let's say you can be any part of your career. Maybe you're interested in, in investigating a, a new industry, or maybe you just want a mentor to help yourself grow to the next level. Um, professionally, um, you can get on my 49er network and you can find folks based on, you know, the industry of interest, company of interest, major even. Um, you know, you could even be a student like, hey, I majored in a liberal arts, career, you know, uh, psychology or social work or, um, you know, whatever biology, and I'm not really sure what I can do. You might even want to utilize my 49er network to get some ideas as to what alumni are currently doing. Um, so, Jesse, I think that's going to be a super helpful way for us to connect alumni to alumni and alumni and students. I completely agree. And I think the really cool thing about the My 49er Network is that you can see right off the bat that an alum can opt into saying, I'm here to help, or I forget what the exact terminology is. Yeah. You can see that they're open to having conversations. And again, that mentoring platform piece, I, I feel like that's just such, that's going to create such easy-ish conversations mm -hmm. and connections between students and alum. And to your point, also alum to alum, there's no saying that once you've graduated from college that you can't pursue a, a, a mentor-mentee relationship, definitely. So I'm so glad you mentioned that, Anna. Well, as we're wrapping up our conversation today, do you have any last minute additional advice in addition to everything else that you share with us today, Anna, that you can share with students um, when it comes to getting involved and leveraging alumni support? Mm, great question. So I think, you know, as you have time, I encourage students attend as much as you can, um, you know, especially through the Career Center. Um, you know, you guys host such great like lunch and learns hosted by employers. You have virtual career fairs. There's so much that you can do pretty much everything that the Career Center offers. You can do most of that or all of it virtually. Um, so I encourage you just to learn and explore. Um, you know, I think this is the time maybe you're deciding on a major Maybe you're deciding on kind of what industry you want to work in. Maybe you're deciding between grad school or going straight into your career. Um, either way, I think just exploring and learning about different employers, different opportunities, um, learning how to best market yourself and, and, you know, practice that elevator speech and practice mock interviews and get your resume reviewed. Um, those are some of the main things, you know, I don't know if that it, and I guess that does tie into alumni. I was going to say that's kind of more the, sorry, my plug for the career center. But I think that, <laughs> that ties into alumni too, because we are involved with these things. Um, so students, if you're wanting to get in touch with alumni, a great way to do that is through the career center, because we're actively volunteering and supporting these type efforts. Um, I think also, you know, like I said, doing informational interviews. Um, if, if you want to just learn more about again, an industry, a career path, a, a workplace, um, you know, just reaching out to alum and saying, can I have like 20, 30 minutes of your time? You can talk on phone, um, Zoom, whatever works best for you, Skype, um, and just learn more and have a set of questions to go to to, to ask to that alum. Um, and I think my 49er network is also going to really help in facilitating that. Absolutely. Such great advice, Anna, and just this amazing conversation. Thank you so much for your time with us today for sharing your perspective and, and information to our students and our alumni listeners. And thank you so much for everything you do for the Career Center and to support the university. You're awesome. Yes. It's been great You're so welcome. Today. Thanks for having me. And by the way, if folks, you know, I'm my name is Anna Salas. You can find me on LinkedIn. If folks have particular questions or ways I can support, I'm always up for doing that. If you are interested in joining the alumni board or you just want to know more about if you're an alum that wants to get involved or a student that has questions, um, I'm here as a resource. Um, I'm a 49er through and through, and, and I'm happy to support any alumni, students, faculty, staff, however I can. Love that. Thank you, Anna. And thank you for those of you who were tuning into this episode of Career Bits. You can find more episodes wherever you download your podcasts or on the University Career Center's YouTube page. 
where video versions of this podcast reside. Follow the Career Center on our website, career.uncc.edu, or on social media at Niner Careers. Talk to you again soon.